Hello everyone, hello YouTube. In this video, let's learn verbs connected to cooking and preparing food. There will be words like frying, grilling, boiling eggs, chopping up carrots, squeezing lemon, kneading dough, whisking eggs, grating cheese or melting chocolate, or just putting the chicken in the oven. Many other words like these. So all in all, let's learn cooking verbs in English with meanings and example sentences. Let's start. Add, add. Put ingredients together when cooking. The chef is adding salt to the mincemeat. Bake, bake. Cook something using dry heat in an oven. I'm baking a pizza for dinner. Boil, boil. Cook something in boiling water. Boil the eggs for 10 minutes. Braise, braise. Cook meat or vegetables slowly in a small amount of liquid in a closed container. I braise some beans to accompany a lamb chop. Break, break. If you break something, you make it separate into two or more pieces. The chef is breaking the egg into a glass bowl. Chop, chop. Cut something into smaller pieces with a sharp tool, such as a knife. Can you chop up some bell peppers for me? Clean, clean. Remove dirt from something by rubbing or washing. Clean the fish, then sprinkle it with salt. Cook, cook. Prepare food for eating by using heat. Where did you learn to cook? Deep fry, deep fry. Cook food under the surface of hot fat or oil. Chips are usually deep fried at a fast food restaurant. Defrost defrost. If frozen food defrosts, or if you defrost it, it gets warmer until it is not frozen. You can defrost the meat in the micro. Dice. Dice. Cut food into small square pieces. Dice the tofu and add it to the salad. Dip, dip. Put something in a liquid and lift it out again. You can dip the crisps into the cheese sauce. Fry, fry. Cook something in hot fat or oil, or to be cooked in hot fat or oil. Fry the bacon for about 10 minutes. Great. Great. Rub cheese, vegetables, etc. against a rough or sharp surface in order to break them into small pieces. Grate some cheese and put it on the pizza. Grill. Grill. Prepare food by putting it on a flat metal frame with bars across it, above or below strong direct heat. You can grill the sausages for about 15 minutes. Heat up. Heat up. When you heat food up, which has already been cooked and allowed to go cold, you make it hot again. I heated up the remains of last night's supper. Knead. Knead. 
Press a mixture of flour and water many times with your hands. Knead the dough for three minutes. Mash, mash. Crush food that has been cooked until it is soft and smooth. Boil the potatoes and then mash them up. Melt, melt. If something solid melts or if heat's melted, it becomes liquid. I have melted some chocolate in the saucepan. Peel, peel. Remove the skin from fruit or vegetables. Peel and dice the potatoes. Poach, poach. Cook an egg in or over gently boiling water without its shell. I like poached eggs on toast. Put in. Put in. Place food in the oven. She's putting a baking sheet with cookies in the oven. Take out. Take out. Remove food from the oven. She's taking the cookies out of the oven. Pour. Pour. Make a liquid or other substance flow out of or into a container by holding it at an angle. She poured tea for everyone. Roast. Roast. Cook something, such as meat, in an oven or over a fire, or to cook in this way. Are you going to roast the chicken? Roll out. Roll out. Make food that you are preparing flat and thin by pushing a rolling pin over it. Roll out the dough on a floured surface. Sauté. Sauté. Cook something in a little hot oil or fat. Sauté the green beans for five minutes. Scramble. Scramble. Cook an egg by mixing the white and yellow parts together and heating it in a pan. I love scrambled eggs. Sift, sift. Put flour, sugar, etc. through a sieve or similar container in order to remove large pieces. Sift the flour into a mixing bowl. Simmer, simmer. Boil gently or cook something slowly by boiling it gently. Bring the soup to the boil and allow it to simmer gently for about half an hour. Slice. Slice. Cut meat, bread, vegetables, etc. into thin, flat pieces. Thinly slice the sausage. Spread. Spread. If you spread butter on a slice of bread, you put a thin layer of butter over the surface. If you warm up the butter, it'll spread more easily. Sprinkle. Sprinkle. Scatter small drops of liquid or small pieces of something. The man is sprinkling black cumin on bread dough. Squeeze, squeeze. Get liquid from something by pressing it. 
Squeeze a few drops of lemon into your tea if you like. Stew. Stew. Cook something slowly in liquid. The meat still needs to stew. Stir. Stir. Move a liquid or substance around with a spoon or stick in order to mix it together. She stirred her coffee with a plastic spoon. Stir fry. Stir fry. Fry ingredients in a small amount of very hot oil by being stirred or tossed in a wok. Add the fish and stir fry for about 2 minutes until golden brown and crispy. Strain. Strain. Separate solid things from a liquid by pouring the mixture through something with very small holes in it. She strained the pasta. Taste. Taste. Experience or recognize the taste of food or drink. It was like nothing I'd ever tasted before. Tenderize. Tenderize. Make meat softer and easier to eat by preparing it in a special way. Meat and poultry can be marinated for several hours or days to tenderize or add flavor. Toast. Toast. Make bread or other food brown by placing it close to heat. Toast the bread lightly on both sides. Wash. Wash. Clean food using water. Wash the vegetables before you chop them up. Weigh. Weigh. Measure the weight of something. This ingredient weighs 30 grams. Whip. Whip. Mix cream or the clear part of an egg very hard until it becomes stiff. Whip the cream until thick. Whisk. Whisk. Mix liquids, eggs, etc. very quickly so that air is mixed in using a fork or a whisk. Whisk the eggs and sugar in a bowl over a pan of hot water. Thank you very much for learning with me in this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned a couple of verbs that were connected to cooking. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, definitely comment if you have got some ideas to share. So one more time, see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.